Hi, I'm Danielle, and welcome to this Enchanted House. Today we are reviewing Miss Wondersmith's Guide to Fairy Tale Gatherings, um, which is this book right here, actually. So, as someone who loves a good theme party and throws, throw, has thrown theme parties in the past, I was absolutely interested in Miss Wondersmith's. Uh, she has an Instagram, and she does a lot of different art and cottage quarry witchy things on her Instagram. But one of them is she throws these really elaborate. Um, gatherings that she calls them these fairy tale gatherings that are themed and very immersive and enchanted. So um, when I found out she had a book about doing that, I was like really excited and I ordered it. And uh, here it is, obviously. Um, and overall, it's a pretty good book. Um, I think part of it might, this is one of those cases where it's, um, it's very much a me thing, but um, so. First of all, this is a really good book if you've never done this and you've always, or if you've seen something like this, or you've seen, you've like, you've, you've seen these really beautiful immersive things, these photo shoots, and you're like, how do people come up with those ideas? This is very much an exploration of creativity, but it's how to focus that creativity and that creative process into throwing a party. And um, there's some really great ways she does that. She talks about stories and the hero's journey and using the story structure to. Um, plan out the party from the call to adventure being invitations to you know building um, introductions and building up to your to a climax and how you know then the sort of falling action and how to end things and you know with and sort of that takeaway that you would get from a story is, 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 as in like take the, how to do favors um, there's a lot of little great little suggestions on di different ideas and different, you know, little whimsical touches throughout the book. The way this is written is she's asking you lots of different questions to get you thinking, to get you thoughts. And while she's throwing out suggestions of things she's done or ideas she ha has, and she's also, you know, there's these lovely little flow charts with like different ideas and like different suggestions and how to show her thought process. So this is like a really good book if you are trying to figure out how to do this and then you're in that kind of first how do I come up with this where do I come up with these ideas how do I translate this thing in my head into something physical it's a very good first step that said this is something I've actually done a lot and I love seeing her perspective on it and there's a lot of places where our perspectives cross um, but I do have like a couple criticisms like my biggest this is this is a very thin volume you notice and this really feels like the first part of a larger volume or a larger work. Like I feel like there should be a part that deals with the actual logistics of throwing a party and how you actually plan things out and how you, you know, how you assign things, which is where a lot of, um, which is where I dwell a lot of times when I'm doing the parties. Is I have this idea of we're going to throw this party and it's going to be themed in space and it's like okay so what should those invitations look like and I was like well then I have come up with maybe a cool idea for an invitation like maybe um, if it's, it's maybe we're going Star Wars and we're going like I'm gonna send everybody like a little kyber crystal or something uh, that's supposed to be like the message or the, the it's not kyber crystal what's the little the little holographic thing I'm dropping and I'm gonna put it right here but the little hol I mean, it wouldn't be actual holograph but it'd be like a little the little um, pyramid thing and you could open up and the invitation would be inside or something. So then there's like the whole logistics of like how do I get those to the people? How do I, how, or for, like first of all, how do I get those? Uh, how do I make those or find those? Um, how do I get those to people? How do I, you know, make sure that, that they that they get there correctly and not broken and all that stuff? So she doesn't go into that. Maybe that's part of the part of the thing is this is just supposed to be the fantasy aspect of it and we don't want to get into the nitty-gritty details. Um, there are, th like, this is a very pretty book, first of all, and it is very aesthetic and I love, like, the, the photography in it is gorgeous, but it's very detail-oriented, which, um, there are some pictures of, like, um, let's see here, hold on a second. There, so, there are some larger pictures of things that are like, see this is like, this is her little thought bubbles, which I absolutely, I do, I do love. But there's, so there's like pictures of tablescapes and stuff. Like another section would be, I would love to see full on, here's a part, here's one of these gatherings, here's it from beginning to end, here's the photographs of people arriving, here's, like there's little snippets from all the different ideas she's had. 
I'd love to see them organized though, like in like this would feel like a sister section. Another section on actual logistics and physical problems and like planning things out and creating timelines and you know assigning responsibilities because don't you like stuff like this you need help i will say right now never d depending on how f high you scale up it definitely helps to have help um but and then i'd love to see examples like laid out like i mean you can go on her social media and see them but i would love since i paid you know, I'm paying money for this book to see, like, here's, like, the, it looks like there's an ocean theme one. So this is what my ocean themed one looked like from here's the invitations, here's how I, um, she talked, because she talks about, like, you know, invitations and, like, set, like that first opening with the arrival having something there. Um, so here's, you know, here's this, here's where we set up for maybe a photo op or, uh, you know, a photo op, a photo booth for people to come in and take pictures. Um, here's here's the menu we served here's the tablescape here's you know the activities we did here's the here's what we did for our final goodbye and here's what uh the favors i had i had for everyone to take home and like have different examples of like here's maybe this ocean one here's this forest one Th this is one of those books that definitely left me wanting more um also there's a very this is for a very like she doesn't really say it but this is really about like she doesn't talk much about your guests or your audience for your party. Like, who are you throwing this party for? Like, a, she talks a little bit about events and, like, you know, tailoring it to, like, if this is a, a party to say goodbye to a loved one versus a birthday party, etc. But who you invite also matters. Like, um, there are some where I know the people I'm inviting will all dress up and theme, so I know that that's going to automatically kind of elevate the atmosphere because I know everyone will come dressed up so versus something where it's like I'm this I'm involving people who are like that but also people who aren't like that so I have to maybe maybe make the atmosphere a little more um to understand because I understand that not everyone's going to participate in the immersivist the same way also you know kids is a very different um situation than adults kids have more energy they they love to be engaged um, and have have someone who's thrown who threw a lot of great themed birthday parties for my kids. Like one of the things I always tell when giving advice is for kids for that opening, you want to have something they can do. Like that, I usually had like, like a craft that fit with what they're doing. So like I had this huge stack of just like paper swords and because a lot of the times a lot of my kids' interests involve swords in one way or another. So like for my daughter's adventure time party. We're gonna decorate a sword, or um, for my son had a Pokemon party, and they had to create their little own Pokemon kit with their own little hat and their little bag to catch their Pokemon for a game we were playing later. But where I'm throwing a party for adults, um, that opening might just be more. Hey, I have people maybe haven't seen each other for a while, and I want that to be more of a casual kind of cocktail socialize period. So um, I don't know. That's another thing I guess is they like there's this crossover between ideas and creativity and logistics and she kind of goes in there. I would have loved to see more of how she plans things out. I will say also the book does concentrate very much on the idea of, the, of, the, of a feast and food and some parties are more food centric than others so but I would say I would have loved to see this called fairy tale feasts instead of fairy tale gatherings maybe. I don't know. Food's important and I love the stuff she's written on food and she has a really great talking about you know sensory and how different foods make you feel and how to use that to help elevate the the elevate the immersion of your party and so um overall it's a really cute book and i do recommend it if you are into parties it's a very beautiful book um it's just one of those books that really i wish there was more to it um it's like like i said it feels like the very it feels like the very first like there should be like the first section of a multi-section book so, Miss Wondersmith's Guide to Fairy Tale Gatherings, Magical Events Shaped by Story Structure. It's a good book. Um, if it's something that interests you and you are interested in doing these kind of events, um, there's not a lot of books on doing that, so um, it's a good place to start. Hey, um, editing Danielle here. Uh, since I filmed this video, she actually did uh, post on her Instagram about this book and some of the, she's gotten some negative reviews on Amazon. Um, I don't think it's... I hope my review doesn't come off as negative, but there's definitely feel like this is a something that she could have expounded it on. And um, if she sees this, I hope she takes this as um, constructive criticism 
criticism and I hope maybe that yeah if you want to redo this book and maybe expand on it that'd be an awesome thing or um, especially if you're someone who needs some help mapping out your creative creativity and getting like putting ideas together this is a it's an excellent book to start so yeah and I will have uh, links to her uh, social media stuff down below if you want to check out Miss Wondersmith she does beautiful not just parties but all sorts of really great art and um, just a, a nice witchy cottage Corey social media to follow if nothing else so um, yeah I hope this review was helpful if it was you know maybe give me a like um, if you have questions or you want to talk or you want to uh, I do have I'm hoping to do a video on parties in particular my family throws a really big Halloween party every year and hopefully closer to Halloween I can Take you guys on a tour of that yeah but if you have questions or thoughts or just want to say hi please leave me a comment down below um please check out my other if you're new here please check out my other videos um see, see if you can check out see if i'm your cup of tea and if i am please subscribe um i also love to connect with you guys on social media there are links to my instagram facebook and tumblr down below i hope you guys have an enchanted day and i will see you guys next time Bye.